This video will cover CloudGeo Lite workflow basics. Let's upload our images by clicking on the Upload Images button. First, we need to create a name for the job. Then either click on Select Files to choose our JPEGs or drag and drop them into the box. After selecting our images, we will get a pop-up where we can decide to either process the job or add or remove more files. If we click on Add Remove Files, we can remove any file individually from the job or clear all files in the job. We can also return to the jobs page without creating a new job. I will choose to select more files to add to the job. This time, when the pop-up appears, I will click Process Job. The number of images in the job will be subtracted from the total number of extractions purchased. Once the images are all uploaded, we will get a pop-up letting us know the job was successful. Just click the X to return to the jobs page. Here, we can see the processing status of the job. Once complete, I will preview my job by clicking on the eye icon. I am able to view the keyed images, the source images, or the alpha channels. I can also view the keyed images on a white, gray, or red background most images should automatically be perfect since our algorithm, CSAI, is able to retain the foreground as well as remove background wrinkles and shadows automatically. If you do find an image with a mistake, it can be easily edited in CloudGeo Lite's built-in editor. Just click the pencil icon to open an image in the editor. In the editor, we have three tools to work with, the lasso, the wand, and the brush. I will select the green brush to be able to show pixels and then just paint the missing green back onto the t-shirt. I will then go to File, Save and Exit. If the resulting preview does not update immediately, just click the Update Mask button. We can either download an individual PNG by clicking the Download icon next to an image, or download the entire job in a zip folder by clicking the Download All Files button. Be sure to watch our other tutorial videos to learn about more ways you can use CloudKeo Lite's editor. Thanks for watching.